What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with more content. And here we are with more coverage of the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i Gen 9. And we're going to be demonstrating RGB customization and features with the Lenovo Spectrum application. Now this allows us to customize the keyboard that you see here as well as this bar in the front. I call this the base bar or I kind of even thought a little bit more about it and decided to call it the chin bar but customization for both of those with plenty of colors and animations. And what's also cool is for the keyboard and this base or chin bar each key for the keyboard or each region for that base or chin bar can be customized individually, leading to, I would say, the ultimate customization. And if you've been watching the channel, you can see that we've created quite a few videos of the Legion Pro 7i. That's because the goal of this content is to create a whole catalog for you, the viewers, so you can get as much information as possible about this product. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So. Here we are with a better view of the keyboard as well as that base or chin bar. Now, interesting enough, you can't actually see the base or chin bar. It actually runs underneath the Legion Pro 7i. But what's cool is that the lighting is still projected outwards. So you can see it projects outwards from, I would say that chin or base about an inch, maybe a little bit more. And that gives you a really cool view of the lighting. And I wanted to make sure that we catch both of these on camera as we do the customization that you'll see in this tutorial. So we're going to start by opening the Lenovo Vantage application, which I have pinned to my taskbar. And that's going to open up fairly quickly here. And this application is going to basically show our system vital. So we'll get a good idea of performance here, but also access to settings to adjust all the features you're going to see here. Now, again, we're focusing on RGB customization. So we are going to scroll down until we see Lenovo Spectrum in the bottom right hand corner here. Now, before we jump into actual customization, I want to point out a few things that you'll see here. First, we're going to have six profiles, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I think this gives you a wide list of options to choose from. These are presets that once customized, you can switch in and out of them fairly quickly with a keyboard shortcut. And this keyboard shortcut is going to be function and space. So we'll just kind of do a quick run through here. That way you'll already know the shortcut. And some of these profiles, they run off of music. So if they look blank, that will be why five and six are defaulted to music. So you'll have to play some music to actually see those going. And then right under profiles, we're going to have 10 levels of brightness ranging from max. We'll try to go about halfway here, all the way to off. So yes, if you are working in more of a professional setting such as business or educational, and you don't want those lights going, you can disable them completely within the app. Now, of course, for me to demonstrate customization, we need to turn that brightness back on. I'm going to bring it back up to max, and then we're going to click on this customize button. And this is going to refresh the page. And what's really cool is that what's displayed on the page is what's happening in real time on the keyboard and that base or chin bar. I think that's pretty awesome. You see the changes happening live. So I just want to run through all of the profiles so you can see how everything is working live. So again, function and space. This is profile two. This is one that I set up. It's not a default. So most of the keyboard is red. I've got some of the sections here white and I have the co-pilot and the windows key. They are flash and blue. And you can see that that base or chin bar I kind of have a Knight Rider effect going on there. The end portions are red, but it's doing this scroll and right and left kind of thing. I thought that looked pretty cool, but we're going to move on here. Function and space. This is a default. This is profile three. We're going to actually wipe this and start completely clean. Function and space again. Profile four. This is going to be rain. This is a default. And then profiles five and six. 
they are for audio. So in order to see animations here, you'd have to have audio playing. Now, I'm not so sure I'll be able to demonstrate audio here just for copyright purposes, but I'll try to insert a clip of the audio effects going, although that clip will be silenced again for copyright purposes. So let's switch to profile three. And if you have anything set on these profiles, you can wipe them completely clean. First, you could set to default and then we're going to click OK, and that would bring it to the default. So you can see that this is the default for profile three, but you can actually wipe everything from that profile two. So you just go to the current effect option here, and underneath we would have the effects that we selected, and then click on the tiny X that pops up. Now there's another thing to mention when it comes to customization before we can actually customize. So each key and each region is considered an effect unit. And you can customize each key and each region individually, which leads to a large width of options. So to demonstrate this, we're going to click on a key, any key on the keyboard here. We'll click on L and you can see if we go down here, it says selected one effect unit. Now we can also do a left click and a drag and select multiple effect units. So you can see we have selected 11 effect units. That would mean 11 keys, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And there is another way we can select multiple effect units. Say they're not all close to one another and drag in isn't actually an effective method you can press and hold control and then select the keys that you would like so just for demonstration purposes we're going to select some of these keys and those would be selected again we have selected seven effect units one two three four five six seven so that directly correlates to how many keys are selected and you can also do a complete drag, left click and drag to highlight the whole keyboard as well as the base or chin bar. We can also just select portions of that base or chin bar. So you can see we have quite a list of options here. Again, very extensive for customization. So we're going to run through the effects that we can apply. And just to keep this video simple, we're going to highlight everything with a left click and drag. And that'll give us a 107 effect units. So that means there's 107 different keys or different regions, however you want to look at it. And then we're going to go to the bottom here where we have effect and we will set effect. And we'll just run through all of these. So first we're going to have the screw rainbow. And you'll see that if we look at the screw rainbow, we can adjust the speed. So right now it's at a two. We could change it to a one, that'll be a lot slower, but I actually like it on three. It just goes really fast. And it's kind of doing like a wiping kind of movement. It's basically like a clockwise clock. And it can go clockwise. If we scroll down here, we can also go counterclockwise, depending on the mood. And you can see this also affects that RGB base bar. And if we want to apply this effect, we would just go to apply and click on it. But for demonstration purposes, we're going to remove this effect. And then we're going to have to click left click here and drag across the whole region, select everything once again, all 107 effect units. And we're going to do the next thing. So we're going to have rainbow wave. And if we move down here, again, we're going to have speed. We're going to put that on three. And then we have direction. So we have more choices here. We have bottom to top top to bottom. Again, you can see how quickly everything works here. Right to left. That's pretty quick. And then left to right. And then we'll move on to the next effect. We have color change. So color change is set to random. 
but you could customize here. So we can do custom and we have blue. We can add, we'll add red and then we'll add green. There we go. And then we're going to increase the speed here. And you can see that that's going to change there. Now we can go to the next effect. We're going to have color pulse. And right now it's set to random color, but we could do the same thing. We could do custom if we wanted to and add different colors. We'll do uh, something different here. We'll do uh, blue, red, purple, and pink, and then change the speed to three. And then let it go. So this is what you'll get with a color pulse. And by the way, as we're going through these, we have... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 effects to choose from. So moving on, we have Color Wave. This is pretty cool. And again, we're going to have random color, but we can do custom again if we wanted to. We'll skip that, though, because this is getting repetitive. So we'll just go to random color. We'll have our speed. Again, I love three. I love things to be really quick here. And then we're going to have direction. So again, we can choose our direction, bottom to top, top to bottom. Again, very responsive here, right to left, left to right, and keep an eye on that bass or chin bar too. That's doing the same thing that the keyboard's doing. Again, really cool here. We're going to move to the next effect, which will be smooth. So there we go, we've got smooth. And again, we could do random colors here or custom we're going to skip that though same thing that you've seen before and then we could change the speed again i like that speed very very fast moving on to the next effect we're going to have rain and this is really nice again we have random color or we can do custom we'll skip that though and then we have speed so this is going to be on three and it was on the default of two and again with these you could change it to one one is just really slow though again i prefer that three it is really fast then we're going to have ripple so whatever key this is going to respond to the keys that you press so we have f we have k we have q and again this is set to random color you could do custom and you can adjust the speed. So we'll put it on one just to see what that looks like. Q, it's going to be really slow. It's going to take forever to reach across the whole keyboard. What's interesting, though, is that it doesn't go to that bass or chin bar. We're going to put it on three, though, just to see what we get there. That's a lot more. That's faster. It's more realistic, in my opinion. So moving on to the next effect, we're going to have audio bounce light in. And after that, we're going to have audio ripple light in. And we'll see here that sound and light audio ripple light in applies to all lights. Play music to see the effect. So I'm going to see if I can get some music going here. So I'm going to switch to audio bounce light in, and then I have some music. We can hit the play button. So we're going to pause that and then we're going to go to audio ripple light in. You can see this is like an out from the inside to the outside movement. And that bass chin bar is illuminated. And then moving on, we're going to have always, which means that the keyboard and that bass chin bar will always be illuminated. And this is really cool, especially for individual keys or regions. So we're going to do a simple test here. I'm going to, again, select multiple keys. We'll do a left click and a drag. We'll make the numeric area. Uh, we'll make it, we'll make it green. And then we'll apply. You always have to apply it so that it stays. And then we're going to select multiple keys. So I'm going to do control and then left click. 
and we're just keeping it random here nothing specific and then I am going to set the effect to always and we're going to we'll stick with the blue here and we'll click apply so that gives you an idea of what always is but anyways I'm going to clear this again I'd like to demonstrate how quick and easy it is to clear things and again you can always go back to the default really quick here so there we are back to the default but we're going to clear the effects Again, just to demonstrate how easily you can do this. Now we're going to add our next effect. I'm going to highlight the whole keyboard here, as well as that base and chin bar. Click the drop down menu here, and then click on type lighten. And then we're just going to type here. Now this is similar to, I would say ripple, except it's not going to ripple outward. It's just whatever keys you press, they illuminate and then they kind of fade out. So that's an option as well. And then we have our last one, Aurora Sync. But you can also see that Aurora Sync Lighting applies to all lights. So if I were to apply this, right, I can't add just one key, right? If I do add a key, and we'll go with always and then apply it's going to clear that aurora lighten so just something interesting to note here now this happens to other effects too so if we select all regions here and if we select audio bounce lighten or audio ripple lighten and there may be a few other ones here but they won't allow you to add other customizations. And you also can't customize the color of that effect. So audio ripple light in the effect color can't be customized. And like I said, we can't add an effect. If we try to add an effect, let's say we try to make part of that base or chin bar a specific always color, we'll apply it. You can see that it removes the audio effect. So something to keep in mind. And I also wanted to point this out just for individual customization of that base or chin bar. So let's do another one here for that base or chin bar. We're going to select an effect always. And I'm going to just do a different color just so you can see how this works. Apply it. There we go. So we've got to different colors there on that base or chin bar. And again, you can add an animation to that base or chin bar. You can make certain colors solid. I'm going to set this to the default here just so you can see. So that's the base bar. And it looks like they did a ripple color pulse effect here. But you can also do something like how I did function space. We're going to go to my profile too. Again, we have that Knight Rider-esque effect. So basically play with this and see what you can create. But when it comes to the RGB customization of that keyboard and that bass chin bar, I'm very excited about it. It looks really good. Now I do wish that the audio effect colors could be customized. And I wish that we had more direction choices for some of those animation some of them are limited that being said let us know what you think in the comments down below as always thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor and until next time leon check in out